The only way to dispel the darkness is by introducing light. So I'm stopping by this morning to help introduce a little light into your morning and to encourage you to do the same for someone else. It's not enough for you simply to receive this, but let's be light bearers. Let's introduce light to the darkness all around. God has done so much in our lives, so much that we ought to be grateful for. So let's share that with somebody today as we introduce light into the darkness that they're going through. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. It says, And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. I love this passage because it is Jesus calling some of his disciples. And he is giving them the opportunity to step up and move out of just providing for man's temporal, natural needs and stepping into an arena where they'll begin to provide for man's eternal needs. Yes, they are not able to bring the solution to everything, but they're able, going to be able to point people to the solution for everything. He is calling them and presenting them with something that is everlasting and eternal, an opportunity to have a kingdom impact. This is such a great honor, and these really aren't the people that, that everyone would have thought of that Jesus would have called. Traditionally, it would have been thought that he would have chosen some, some higher learned, more educated people, but he goes to these uh, fishers, fishermen, and he calls them to be a part of his kingdom and his movement and what he's doing. I love this because Jesus does not uh, first say, you've got to get all this right in order to follow me. Instead, he says, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. The, the prerequisite to becoming a fisher of man is following Christ. Now, in the process of following him, things are going to change, things are going to grow, things are going to develop. We are going to mature in our thinking in the way that we go about life, but it first starts with following him. If we don't follow, then we will never become a fisher of men. Today, I wanna to encourage you because you may not have it all together. You may not be perfect. You may not have the perfect life, the perfect story. You may not have the perfect uh, set of circumstances in your life that make you feel as if you're perfectly equipped. But Jesus says, all you've got to do in order to be a fisher of men is first start following me. Today, if you will start following him, you can begin to have an everlasting impact on the lives around you. You don't have to have all the stuff that we often think that you have to have in order to have a kingdom impact. You just have to do what scripture says. I love that Jesus called them. He said, follow me and I'll make you a fishers of men. If you follow, I'll teach you how to fish for men. I'll teach you how to give them what they need. Today, the same thing is true. If we will follow him, if we will seek him, if we will learn of him, if we will live according to his teachings, then we will be able to fish for men. We will be able to have an eternal impact, not only in our lives, but in the lives of those around us. Be encouraged today. You have what you need if you're following Christ. And if you're not following him, let today be the beginning of that wonderful uh, process in your life. God bless you. I love you. Take some time today. Share, comment, post, repost, do all of that. Let's introduce light to the social media atmosphere. God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.